Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I recently got a uh, request uh, after uh, filming the uh, mulching video if I can show the operation of the uh, floor jack. So today I'm going to do a short video and uh, show uh, how it's used. So as I mentioned in the uh, mulching video, one thing I really like about this jack is uh, how much space it takes to uh, store away. It's uh, completely flat up against uh, my shelving unit. Hardly takes up any space at all and uh, just uh, hang your handle up somewhere out of the way. To assemble the jack, take your tire support brackets, slide them all the way in for this uh, size tractor and pin them in place. Then uh, roll your tire up on the uh, support brackets what I do is I use these uh, blocks of wood to keep it from going all the way to the front. Due to it uh, interfering with the uh, uh, deck support brackets and uh, rods back there. So place those on each side, then roll it up onto the brackets. And the jack comes with uh, tie down straps that you may or may not uh, end up uh, using but uh, we'll definitely keep it from going anywhere and the rest of it is uh, pretty simple uh, you've got a bottle jack uh, which is operated with this handle you've got a release valve on that there's a little notch in the end of the handle to uh, release it and tighten it and then you've got uh, a locking bar with a cover over it. It's got three notches in it to uh, keep the tractor locked in place at three different levels. As you're going up it catches once, twice, and three times. So to get started uh, raising it, uh, make sure your valve is in the closed position. Turn the valve clockwise, insert your handle, and just start raising. Now you'll notice when it gets up to a certain height that first locking position will kick in. Right there. If you want to leave it there you can. You can keep going to the uh, middle locking position. And then uh, if you need it all the way up just keep going and it will catch at the third position. And then you can either leave it there or bleed it off to come down into that uh, lock position. Either way is fine. And then lock it back. So as I mentioned earlier, the reason for these blocks in the tire supports is to give some clearance uh, between the uh, bracket and the rods for the deck support. Uh, when I initially used it, it uh, got in a bind with the top bar of the jack, so that's uh, the reason for the, uh, the wood blocks. Now what I also mentioned uh, in the uh, mulching video was uh, how easy it makes uh, to maintain your tractor if you're serious about uh, doing maintenance on the uh, deck on the underside and changing blades. As you can see, uh, this summer I used it, uh, it's got 31 hours on it. And I will show you, I cleaned it, I cleaned the underside of the deck probably every week or two, every three, four, well I probably didn't do it that often, every four or five uses. And you can see the deck still looks like new on the underside. Uh, and I should mention uh, what I use to clean it, uh, of course, is a uh, pressure washer. And then uh, maintenance on the blades, like I said, uh, to take them off and sharpen them or replace blades, either one, uh, makes it uh, a heck of a lot easier. Then to lower it back down, uh, if you've got it resting in one of the locking positions, you're going to have to raise it up a little bit, so go ahead and uh, 
close your valve, give it a couple pumps, and then to release the locking pin in the cover on the locking bar, press down to raise the cover and releases that pin and go ahead and turn your valve counterclockwise. Keep your foot on the bar till it passes all three locking positions. And you can release it. So that's it. Um, if you're interested in uh, the name of this particular model, it's a Mojack HDL, uh, weight limit of 500 pounds on it. And uh, I'm completely satisfied with the purchase. Uh, seems to do a good job. So anyway, if uh, you like the video, don't uh, forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button. See you next time.